This is Ryan Payne filling in for Bob Payne for this week's market update from Payne Capital Management. This week on the Street of Dreams, the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average surged to new highs, driven by a favorable producer price index and robust bank earnings that eased recent concerns. The major indices marked their fifth consecutive week of gains, with the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq rising 1.1% and the Dow gaining 1.2%. A strong kickoff to the third quarter earnings season boosted stocks, highlighted by J.P. Morgan Chase's 4.4% rise after surpassing profit and revenue expectations. Additionally, stocks benefit from data suggesting inflation might be cooling, including a lower-than-expected September producer price index and a slightly higher consumer price index. These indicators suggest the Federal Reserve might achieve a soft landing and reach its 2% inflation target, with some economists anticipating that upcoming September inflation data will reflect this trend. The Fed is still expected to lower rates by 25 basis points at the next two meetings, with the Fed Fund's futures indicating a nearly 90% chance of a quarter point cut in November. With the market trading at new record highs, it's remarkable to think that just a year ago, fear led many investors to abandon their stocks for a perceived safety of a 5% money market fund. Now, as stocks rise and money market rates fall, with the same investors are buying back those stocks at prices 30% higher than they were a year ago. This serves as a good reminder that while everyone knows volatility is a fact of investing, it's what makes staying invested so challenging. Short-term negativity, pullbacks, and corrections can strike for any or no reason at any time and usually ends quickly with a strong recovery to new highs. Negativity both starts and ends before most people realize it. Short-term volatility stems from sharp swings in sentiment driven by feelings and emotions that are fickle and change rapidly, often when least expected. Case in point, those who panicked and sold this last time when the market was down only to sit in their money market fund as stocks rebounded to new record highs. This reminds us all that it's time in the market, not timing the market, that builds and maintains wealth.